Ethan, who we lost last year. Today we're honored to have Ethan's family here with us. And at this time, I do want to call upon Sophie, Ethan's mom, to uh, give us greetings and speak to us. So let's welcome Sophie. Grief is the last act of love we can give to those we love. Where there is deep grief, there is great love. I have a son in heaven, and I say his name every day, Ethan, and his angel wings protect my heart. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Sophie, and I am Ethan McEwen's, or a dog's mom. I'd like to take a moment to thank Mr. Beagler and Dr. Martin Lebolgas for graciously allowing us the opportunity to be here and share Ethan's memory with all of you today. A memory and a celebration of a boy who made this world a brighter and better place. Nothing in life prepares us for losing someone we love. And unfortunately, this school community has suffered two tragic losses in a very short period of time. Both unintentional accidents that left everyone shocked with the senselessness of them and what seemed to be a random finger of fate that just happened to point to them. When a young life is lost, the shock and sorrow can shake an entire community to its core. But it's that very core that provides us the strength and the ability to help everyone in the community pull together to grieve and ultimately heal. I can't believe it's almost a year that has passed, but I do believe that we should all be thankful for today because in the blink of an eye, your entire life can change forever. So forgive often, love with all your heart, because yesterday is gone, today is almost over, and tomorrow isn't promised. When you forgive, you don't change the past, but you change the future. Next Saturday, June 22nd, will be a year since Ethan's accident, and to commemorate his angelversary, we have decided to make cookies for everyone. Gosh, thank you for my cousin Leo, who's not here today, that offered the Connexus Art Center to make all these cookies and everybody that helped make those cookies. Ethan would have been the first person in the kitchen to bake all these cookies for you today, so they truly are made with love. As for me, my balanced diet this past week trying out different recipes has been a cookie in each hand. So I hope you enjoy them as much as I have. I just have a couple more things to say before I dip. I know my, daughter, <laughs> my daughter Alexia is over there somewhere, probably scooched down, thinking, keep getting moved, move, get off of there, because I'm embarrassing her right now, but it doesn't matter, right? Because I'm pretty tight. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> One of those two, anyway. Tight, tight. Anyway, I'd like to quickly thank those of you who have sent me any pictures or videos of Ethan, like the Snapchat stories that, that parents aren't allowed to see. Uh, I will be compiling them to create one longer memorial video, which unfortunately is going to be to that crappy rap music. And if anybody has any more, please don't hesitate to share them with me. This one's going to be quite a bit different than his celebration of light video, but still a true portrayal of the small but mighty, kind-hearted, compassionate, class clown kid that he was. Ethan enjoyed life and was quite the entertainer who always loved to make people laugh. A special thank you goes out to whoever sent me the video of Ethan shooting a firecracker from his butt. <laughs> that, was, that was a pretty neat trick, and I know now why his butt was sore that night he came home looking for Paul's horn. <laughs> so precious. Uh, above everything else, no parent ever wants their child to be forgotten. We will cherish these memories and hold them in our hearts forever. I love hearing any stories about Ethan and hope his friends never forget him. So thank you for helping me to keep his memory alive. I know I will spend until my last breath doing the same. We aren't able to make any more memories, so when you speak his name, it is music to my ears. Finally, 
I would like to make mention that starting next year, which would have been the year Ethan would have graduated, and for the following three years, there will be a scholarship awarded to a grade 12 student here at the Boldest in memory of Ethan, and also the same at Miller, where Ethan attended in the afternoons for welding. I am not just a mom. I am a mom to an angel. May God rest Ethan's sweet soul and his memory be eternal. The love, the light, and the kindness in me recognizes the love, the light, and the kindness in each and every one of you. Time for me to dip on the skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Have a kind of